slide that basically give an introduction to computer networking. This is these slides are based off of um, computer networking, a top-down approach by Kiros and Ross. So our goal here is to basically have um, a sense for the terminology. Um, we're going to provide uh, more depth, more detail later in the course, and we are going to be using the internet as an example. So things we'll lo be looking at here are think questions like, what is the internet? What is a protocol? Um, what do we, is the network edge? What do we find at the network edge, such as hosts or access networks, physical media? What is the network core? And then we'll talk about packet switching versus circuit switching, the structure of the internet, various performance metrics for um, the uh, internet or networks in general, such as loss, uh, delay, throughput. Uh, then we're going to talk about security and then um, layering various service models for applications and a history of the internet. So what is the internet? Well, one way you can look at the internet is in terms of a nuts and bolts view. Uh, the internet basically co consists of billions of uh, connected uh, computing devices. These devices are, uh, can be hosts, which are simply end systems, such as a laptop or a tablet or even a smartphone. And these will be running network applications. Now, between these hosts, you're going to have a bunch of communication links. These communication links might uh, be optical fiber or copper or uh, radio waves, as you might see with uh, Wi-Fi 802.11 or other kinds of uh, radio waves, as you might see with the satellite link. Now, each of these links will have a transmission rate, which is informally called the bandwidth. In addition, you're going to have some packet switches, which simply forward packets, uh, which are chunks of data, and these packet switches can either be routers, which would operate at what we call the network layer, or they can be switches, which typically operate at uh, the link layer. And again, we're going to talk about what these layers are. And uh, the gen generic um, symbol that we use to represent um, routers, for example, would be um, this link that we, this symbol that you see here. That's what we use to represent routers. So without much ado, here are some examples of some internet connected devices. So over here, we have um, a picture frame that uh, just downloads um, pictures over the internet. Um, here is an internet refrigerator. Not that far-fetched. I um, had actually seen a video once from Microsoft where they were envisioning a house of the future where your um, refrigerator would actually be able to email your uh, weekly shopping list to your uh, neighborhood grocery store. Uh, here is an example of a sling box where you can watch and control cable TV remotely. A uh, bed mattress might have sensors. Right? You might want to know that um, grandma actually slept in bed, <laughs> for example. Uh, over here, you have a web-enabled toaster, and uh, on your toast, you basically have a, the forecast for the day burned on there. So as an example, you might have a sunny day, or if you have a cloudy day, here are clouds. Um, you have um, a device that can tweet um, a watt, basically, to monitor your energy usage. And you also have internet uh, phones. Uh, we at UE use uh, phones like this sometimes to um, interconnect the various uh, campuses. So another way you can look at the internet is as a network of networks. Okay, And what are these networks? They're simply interconnected internet service providers. Now on the internet, you're going to have protocols that will control the sending and receiving of messages. Okay, these protocols um, can either be open, um, and if, when they're open, they're typically published in standards um, written or published by the Internet Engineering Task Force, the IETF. These standards are called requests for comments, or they can be proprietary, such as Skype, which is a proprietary protocol. It is um, 
basically um, owned by Microsoft. Um, there are other groups as well that would um, write standards, like the 802.11 standard for um, Wi-Fi is actually published by the um, IEEE um, Institute for Electrical and Electronics Engineers. So, another way of looking at the internet is in terms of the services, right? So the internet, you can view the internet as infrastructure that provides services to various ap to applications. These applications can be things like the World Wide Web, um, voice over IP, email, um, the multiplayer online games, maybe that you, um, ha you some of you might play, e-commerce or social networks. And the internet then will provide a programming interface for applications. Um, what might you have with this programming interface? Simply hooks that would allow sending and receiving um, applications ways to connect to the internet. These um, hooks would provide service options analogous to uh, the postal service. So um, like with the postal service, you might be able to get certified mail um, on the internet. Surprise, surprise, there is a way to um, make sure that the other side um, has received the data. Um, and then there's best effort, which is you know just like the regular mail that we send out, right? There's no expectation that that has been uh, delivered. Now, a term that has come up repeatedly and which I have to define is a protocol. So what is a protocol? Well, we have examples of human protocols, right? Um, we use these without even thinking about them. But an example of a human protocol is where you are trying to get time, right? So what's the common way? You probably say hello first, and then you say, you know, what's the time? Or um, if you're in a class, you might raise your hand and say, I have a question, or even the way you do introductions. You know, Jane, this is John. John, this is Jane. And that's the way you do these things. A protocol simply uh, would constitute the specific messages that are sent and then specific actions that are taken when messages are received um, by some other host and there might be other events as well. Now network protocols are similar to human protocols except now our actors are machines, computers instead, uh, instead of humans. All communication activity on the internet is governed by protocols. So a protocol succinctly will define the format uh, of the messages that are sent, the order of those messages that are sent and received among the network entities and the actions that are taken when a message is transmitted or received. So here on this slide, we uh, the next slide, we show an example of a human protocol and a computer network protocol. So say Alice is trying to ask Bob for the time. Alice will ask Bob, hi. Bob says hi in response. And then Alice now says, have you have, do you have the time? And then Bob can say, oh, it's two o'clock. So there is an example. With uh, computers on the other, um, you might have a client, which is uh, denoted by this um, computer on the left, might send a TCP connection request and we'll define what TCP is as a protocol. And then the server gets that request and then it will send a TCP connection response. Now upon receiving that TCP connection response, the client can send a bit more information and then piggyback or send some additional uh, message now requesting a file, right? So you might say, give me this file, HTTP um, colon backslash triple w dot um, awl dot com backslash kuros um, hyphen ross. And then the server responds by sending the file. And therein is the essence of a protocol. Okay, so to go back to the definition we had, it's a format the order of the messages that are sent and received among network entities and the actions that are taken when a message is transmitted um, or uh, received. Okay, and that's the end of this slide.